Hi. It's day 25 of my imprisonment. Being out of school is surprisingly really, really boring. And I miss my friends. Hi, Hope. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Kristen. As you guys know, the cancer is back. I'm not even sure it ever left. The doctor says that the cancer is spreading too quickly and that treatment won't work this time. He said I only have a few more months left. He even started telling my mom to get my arrangements in order. Rude. <laughs> Wikipedia says and in the US, only like 1,300 people died last year of this type of cancer. And like, there's like 300 million people living here, so the odds are totally in my favor. I'm gonna beat this thing. Besides, two years ago, the doctor says that treatment was a long shot. Here I am. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> thought I heard my mom. She doesn't really like it when I talk about my cancer. When the doctor told her I wasn't gonna make it, she totally lost it, flipped out. Just listen to Mitchell! Get out of my room, you little fungus! Make me! Go! I'm gonna tell mom when she gets home. You're so far from who you really are. You think Change the picture in the frame, but you're the only, yeah, you're the only one who's distracted by one love or like. Why do you run and hide? You might be young, you might be wise, you might have truth behind that disguise. A little bit of friction, and you can. This is your dad. Rose, it's me again. I need to talk to you. Rose? Is everything okay? I'm sorry. Such a class. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> sorry, I just have to go. I'd say it's stupid. I don't understand how you can be so relaxed. Everyone here is going to be without a job if you let What's her continue. What's your point? My point? She's barely here. She's constantly putting off meetings. With you. Excuse me? She puts off meetings with you. She's never dropped the ball in the 20 years she's been with me in spite of the terrible hand she's been dealt. So let me ask you one more time. What's your point? At least let me take the Jacobson. Excuse me. Can I come in? I think you're already in. Oh, I used to play pro ball, but I can't even hit a metal can three feet away. Rose. Jeans? You know we have a dress code here. You're gonna have to start. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's the rule. It's a stupid rule. Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Hannah's leaving. Oh, Rose. I thought this nurse was the nurse. She is. She was. She's having marital problems. She's getting divorced? Worse, she's getting married. Rose, I think maybe it's time you took some time off. Riley, I can't. You and I both know the Jacobson account's the only thing that's gonna keep this little company afloat another year. Yeah, I could put someone else on it. Nancy will do it. Don't even think about it. You know I'm the only one that Mr. Jacobson trusts. I gotta woo him. 
guy can't get him to sign this contract, he's gonna go over to Peters and Klein. Oh, Peters and Klein, those smarmy... Riley, I just need the afternoon, okay? I'll figure it out. Rose, I think you need to take care of your daughter. I am. And if I lose this account, we're all gonna be out of a job. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, no hugging, Rose. It's... Oh, and a kiss. Thank it's you. the rule. Stupid rule. Thank you. Anna, you don't have to do dishes. I got your message. I thought you weren't getting married until June. You know I love Jessica, but Chris got the job and it's in Dallas. Dallas. I'm so sorry. I know this is going to leave you in a bind. No, you've been a lifesaver. I don't know what we would have done without you. What am I going to do without you? <laughs> I'm really happy for you, I am. I'm sure you have a million things to do. You should get going. We're gonna be fine. Anna, I'm hungry. Mom, I'm about to beat my high score. Mom, Mom, look. One second, honey. Mama's a little busy. You're always busy. Jess, we should take you to the salon tomorrow and get your hair cut. Won't it feel good to get pampered? It took me two years to grow this out. I'm not. Gonna cut it again. <laughs> Billy, honey, put that game down. Help Mama get everything ready for dinner. Mom. Come on, you dweeb. Just help her out. It's bad enough you didn't finish your homework like she asked you. Billy, you said you finished. I was going to after dinner. No games until after your homework's done. You know that. Billy, what did I say? Just sit down. <sighs> You couldn't put that stupid game down long enough to answer the telephone. I'm fine, relax, okay? Mom? Not now, Billy. But Mom. Billy, can you just leave the kitchen until I call you for dinner? Can you do that? Mom! Billy, go. Mom, are you okay? Yeah, dinner's gonna be ready in a second. Billy and I can't get dinner. Why don't you just sit down for a second, okay? Mom? What now? Up. Rosie? Jess, will you just take Billy upstairs and get him washed for dinner? What are you doing here? I've been trying to call you. Yeah, I've been trying to ignore you. <laughs> My goodness. Jessica got so big. How's she doing? Pop, what are you doing here? How is she doing? You never wrote back, so I don't know anything about what's going on in your life. Did you ever get any of my letters? It's been 15 years, Pop. What was I supposed to write? I know you've been constantly in and out of my life since I was 14, but maybe this one time your probation officer won't violate your probation and let you see my kids. I'm a different person now. That's what I've been wanting to tell you. I'm not the same person. I've Wasted so much time. Pop, no. Whatever I was, you could have wrote, Rosie. <laughs> now, that's all I'm saying about that. I'm not holding up liquor stores anymore, and I'm not abandoning my family anymore. I'm here for you. I'm fine. We are fine. <coughs> Jess, just sit down. It's late. You haven't eaten anything. I'm fine. Are you a grandfather? Yes, I am. 
I'm your mother's father. You're William, right? It's Billy. William is an old man's name. <laughs> old man? William is a mature name. I like it. I hate it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right. Billy it is. <laughs> Jessica. I haven't seen you since... Mom said you were in prison. I was. But I'm not anymore. I'm here now. I'm here for my family, if that's okay, Rosie. Rosie? What? I is that funny? <laughs> Mom hates being called Rosie. Well, too bad. She's my little Rosie. It was your grandmother's name, God rest her soul. Your mother will always be my little Rosie. Well, Rosie, can you stay around? Very funny. I'm sure your grandfather has a ton of things he needs to do, so thanks so much for the visit, Pop. Jessica, you look just like your grandmother. <laughs> Are you all right, sweetheart? Is it the cancer? I'm fine. Every time I sneeze, someone treats me like I'm made of porcelain. Of course you're fine. You're a Doyle. Doyle? Our last name is Donaldson. Doyle's mom's maiden name, dummy. <laughs> She's feisty like you, Rosie. Just like your grandmother. Listen, I have to finish dinner. Pop, you're more than welcome to stay, but it's gonna be a quick one tonight. Billy has school in the morning, and Jess has a new nurse coming, and she needs a rest. <sighs> Mom, I don't want another nurse. Well, I... New nurse? What happened to the old one? It's a long story, Pop. She had to leave. Just like the one before her and the one before her. My granddaughter's sick. I'll take care of her. No, Pop, but you come in here after 15 years and you think I'm gonna leave you with my kids? Rosie. Mom, at least he's family. I mean, we know him more than we know what's her face coming tomorrow. I can do this. I was in prison when your mother was sick. My granddaughter's sick. Let me help. Mom. Stay put. How dare you come into my house and push yourself on my children? You have no right. I was just trying to help, Rosie. Don't call me Rosie. You lost that privilege when you left Mom and me the last time. Now you can stay for dinner, and then you're going to tell the kids you have to leave. I didn't mean to cause you any pain by coming here, Ro Rose. I've been waiting for this minute for 15 years. Pictured a much happier reunion. Why ever would you picture a happy reunion? You left me. I'm not doing this. You should just go right now, Dad. Mom, no, please. Just go back to the table. I want to know my grandfather before I die. One day, Pop, that... One day. Fair enough. Don't you disappoint my children. My grandfather is here. Not really sure what to make of him yet. He's nothing like I thought he would be. <laughs> Kinda cool to have a grandparent, though. The white pill is before breakfast, the yellow pill is after lunch. Okay. okay you got it? Yeah. I'll give you one more number, just All in case right. I've got this. The pill box is on the counter. Make sure she eats healthy and keep her stimulated. I've got this. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, but Pop, this is just for today. You're gonna be here, right? I'm not gonna leave her side. All right, let's go, Billy, we're gonna be late. Hey, Grandpa. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to work on that later. <laughs> I'll see you now. So I'm gonna call you in a bit to check on Jess. Okay, okay. All right, bye. I should call to see what's going on, shouldn't I? You just got here. You haven't even had your coffee yet. I know, Nance, but I mean, he just shows up at my door. I think it's sweet your dad just showed up at your door. You don't know my father. I don't think you would do anything, do you? No, it's not that. It's just I'm so angry at him. 
You know? You don't think that maybe God brought him back into your life for a reason? Don't start. He does that. Nice and strong. You know, he just shows up and expects everything to be all right. So like him. And then I've got to look like the bad guy when I tell the kids he can't stay. No one's saying you can't be upset with the guy. Give him a chance. Maybe he's changed. People don't change, Nance. Nance, you've done it again. You are a master at making this generic coffee taste gourmet. You want me to give you my secret? Yeah, what is it? I would tell you, but I have some papers to file or some other excuse to get out of here right now. Rose, how is everything? Good. Everything's good. Good? Yeah. So I was wondering if, you know, maybe if you want to go out. Oh, there. sorry, Ethan. I just totally remembered a conference call I was supposed to be on. Uh, yeah, of yep. course. Okay, bye. Happy Saturday night. Oh, I'd love to. I'll pick you up at 8. Sounds great. Hey, Mr. Flynn. Funny seeing you here, right? You know, because. Because I work here? How you feeling, Jess? Uh... Oh, are you hurting? Feeling sick or anything? No, I'm just having a bad case of the blahs. Well, if you're not sick, get up! Chop, chop! Breakfast in five minutes! Really? Hello? Hey, Pop. How's Jess doing? Oh, she just got up. About to have breakfast. She's a sweet girl. She's just not a morning person. No, it's okay if she wants to eat in her room. Oh, no, Rosie. You know how your mother felt about that. A good family deals, heals, and eats their meals. At the kitchen table. I know, Pop. I got this, Rosie. Now, you're not going to be a serial caller, are you? A what caller? Someone who calls back every 10 minutes. No, I'm not whatever you just said type of caller. That's not me. I just, I just want... I'm going to hang up now. I have to go. Okay. Bye, love you. Pop, that was mom, wasn't it? Yes, that was her. And where do you think you're going, young lady? To my room. Oh, no. You have this fine kitchen here. You just take a seat. You're not going to tell me some old grandpa's stories about how you guys used to eat together as a family or something, are you? No, no old grandpa stories. <laughs> but I will tell you that it's no fun sitting in an enclosed room for the rest of your days. That I know. Well, these are the rest of my days, and I am sitting in an enclosed area. God will let you know when your time is up. But it's up to you to decide what to do with the time you have left. So, what are you going to do? Well, whatever I do, can I go do it in my room, in front of my television, laying in my bed? No. You know that's mom, right? I'm not answering it. If you don't, she's totally going to freak out. Good. You should know some of the things that she did when she was your age that freaked me out. <laughs> really? Like what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm trying to get on her good side. There's some things that I'm sure your mother doesn't want you to know. <laughs> you know, I really don't know my mother. How can you not know your mother? You live in the same house with her. Well, I mean, I know she goes to work and she comes home and takes care of me and Billy, but I don't really know, know her. I mean, ever since Dad died and I got sick, She's just been kind of like a machine. Oh, you should get to know them, Rosie. I know. She's a firecracker, that one. Mm -hmm. It was her words to me that kept me going in that awful place. My mom. Yes. Your mom. <laughs> I really think you should answer this. I thought you said you weren't going to call back every 10 minutes. <laughs> well, you hung up on me, Pop. I'll be quick. I just have a favor to ask. Anything. 
Jess's doctor wants to see her. For what? No, it's nothing serious. He just wants to see how she's doing since we stopped her treatment. I don't know if she'll be back in time for Billy's soccer game. Can you just, can you take him? What kind of question is that? Of course I'll take him. Thank you, Pop. His game's at 4.30, so he needs to get ready as soon as he... I've got that, Rosie. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> grade three. That's the highest cancer grade a doctor can give you. What can I say? I'm an overachiever. <laughs> Have you got something to hide? Something to hide, so put on a show. Something to hide, the girls are good at it. Something to hide. We won the game, Mom. Well, that's great, honey. I'm sorry, I know that you wanted me to come to the game, but I... Yeah, yeah, you'll be at the next one, right? Billy, I'm sorry, but your sister... It's always about Jessica! Billy, I'm sorry, what did you want me to do? Now, your sister's sick! She had a doctor's appointment! She's always sick! You have more than one kid, you know. Billy, what did you want me to do? Now, you come in here yelling and tracking dirt into my kitchen. I will talk to you whenever you calm down. If Jack were dead, would you come to my game then? Let him go, Pop. I am so mad, I'm afraid of what I might do. Rosie! Get out, get out, get out! Get out! <laughs> sorry, Billy. I'm sorry, I'm just screwing your life. <laughs> I'll try not to be an inconvenience much longer. I'm sorry! <laughs> Is it okay if I come up? You were really upset in there. You said some pretty bad things to your mother. So unfair. Unfair? It's always about Jessica. Jessica this and Jessica that. Billy, let me tell you something. Do you mind if I take a seat? You don't remember when your father died. Your sister was young, you were a baby, and I was in prison. Your mother had to face that by herself. I know, but... Now, your sister is sick with the same disease that took your grandmother. Billy, the biggest regret I have in my life is not being there for your mother. To be there for your kids when she needed me. Let me give you a lesson about life. Life is unfair. And to us Doyles, life is extremely unfair. But you deal with it. Billy, you deal with it like a man, not like a spoiled brat. Imagine what your mother's going through. We can't even imagine what your sister's dealing with. This isn't a time to hold your head down. I need you to be strong for your family. Like it or not, you're the man of the house, and your family needs you. You're getting to an age where no one has to like you. Sure, your mother, your sister, I, we love you. We'll always love you. But you're not a very liked person right now. You have to decide to be a likable person. You have to earn that. No one's going to give that to you. I had to learn that the hard way, and I've I'm still working on that one. You're a man of God, aren't you? We don't go to church. 
Just going to church doesn't make you a man of God. Doing the right thing when it's uncomfortable and when it seems unfair, that's what makes you a man of God. I believe in you, Billy. I believe you can be the man I never was. tell you a story? Grandpa, I'm a little old for bedtime stories. <laughs> well, this is a, a good one. Have you heard of the man called Jesus? <laughs> Grandpa. This is one of my favorites. Uh, what is this? What are you guys doing? Bros, don't hate us. Just wanted to help. And we aren't taking no for an answer. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Can't say no. Everybody in the office chipped in. We just wanted to help a little bit. I can't accept this. Rose, just say thank you. But I can't accept this kind of... Just I... say thank you! You better say thank you. Don't make me tell secrets. Thank you. Actually, it was Ethan's idea. No hugs. That's a stupid rule, Riley. Thank you, Ethan. Oh, it was the least we could do. You know, you're going through something that none of us can even begin to understand, and... Okay, enough we... of the mushy. I need a little alone time with Rose. Talk to her, okay? I'm not cool with secrets. Right? These walls are thin. It's not like we're not gonna hear what you're gonna say anyway. I can't thank you enough. You've been beyond good to me. You know we all love you here, Rose. But... Oh, my God, you're firing me. I look like Donald Trump. I'm not firing you, Rose. No? <laughs> of course not. You practically started this company. I'd never do that. Okay, Riley, you can't start a conversation with a phrase like that and insert a butt. God, you scared me half to death. All right, but what? You were right about Peters and Klein. My source says the Jacobson's firm set up an appointment with them. Your source? Rose, this is serious. It's set for the day after you pitched to them here. I don't know what to do. I, I want to do the right thing. The right thing is making you take some time off, but if that happens, all of our jobs will be in jeopardy. No. Thank you for letting me know. Everything's going to be fine. What you looking at? Nothing. You're getting red. <laughs> What's out there? Nothing. I was just looking next door. Grandpa, close the curtains before he sees you. <laughs> okay. Who is that? Is that your boyfriend? No, Grandpa. He's not my boyfriend. I'm not talking even about you with this. All right. I'll go ask him. Grandpa, no. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh, look at you. In the month I've been here, this is the first time I've ever seen any color in your face. You really like him. Yes, I really like him, but every girl in school likes him. He's like the hottest guy. <laughs> well, I don't like him. <coughs> you don't like him. You don't even know him. Does he have a job? It's not like he's my boyfriend. 
But yes, he has a job. He delivers pizzas. <laughs> hey, do you mind? No, I don't. Oh, look. You're a very pretty girl. Any guy would be lucky to have you. You're my grandpa. You're supposed to say that. Oh, no, I mean it. Why don't you have more pictures in here? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. The last few years have been nothing but hospitals and medication. You need to have pictures of all the things you've done with your friends and your little boyfriend over there. Not my boyfriend, Grandpa. <laughs> well, you do have friends, don't you? Yes, I have friends. I just don't want them to see me like this. I don't want to be a charity case. Well, now is the time to be around your friends. Don't be silly. This is the time when family and friends matter the most. Maybe. You have to fill up this photo album. Fill it up with what? All I do is sit around here all day. Don't you see? This book symbolizes much more. Your journey isn't over. We have pages to fill. Well, Grandpa... I can't understand what you're going through. I really can't. But I do know what it's like to have time taken away from you. Time is something you can never get back. Don't waste it. Well, what am I supposed to do? What do you want to do this minute? What? I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. What about that little boyfriend over there? Did you ever try to talk to him when I was a young man? We would ask a young lady on a date to a dance, you know, and real classy thing like that. Do you, do you kids still do stuff like that? Maybe prom, but I'm not counting on staying around for that. Hey, no talking like that. Besides, I don't even know how to dance. <laughs> what do you mean you can't dance? You're a doyle. It's in our blood. Now you give me your hand. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Back. Good. See, you're doing it. It's easy. I, I told you you could do it. It's in our blood. You just make sure you finish living. Because you're not finished yet. Do you hear me? Mom, take a picture. Pop, can I come in? Sure, come in. All those years I was locked up, Harry. The day I'd wait for the mail hoping to get a letter from you. I'd write to you to see how you were doing and hope for word on the children, but never came. Not one letter. Did you get mine? Yeah, I got your letters. Well, you know, I never got upset with you, not once, because I knew I brought that on myself. In prison, I stayed to myself mostly, and, you know, kept working and reading and stuff like that, but. What got me through it was this. The 
Remember when you gave this to me? That was a long time ago, Pop. Why are you here? Really? Making up for lost time what? Yes, mostly. I... I missed a lot. But I'm here now. I'm here for you. Where were you when I needed you? I beat myself up for that every day. But I am here for you now. Now. These last years have been hell for me, Pop. First my mother, then my husband, and now my baby girl is dying, and you come in here and you start talking about God and that you want to be here for me now. God has forgiven me. I'll spend the rest of my life doing whatever it takes so that you can too. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, Pop, because I really... I really do appreciate how great you've been with the kids. But you told Jess she could go to her prom. Oh, oh, now, no, wait, I didn't tell her. Pop, I know you. You might not have said it outright, but you were the one that put that idea in her head. Well, maybe I believe that she could do whatever she wants to. You don't get it, do you? She's sick. She's not getting any better. She's never gonna go to a prom, ever. The only thing that's keeping that kid alive is her optimism. So you have to stop putting these unrealistic ideas in her head. Oh, no, she needs to live a little bit, Rosie. She has a little fire in her belly. It's natural. What's so wrong with that? Did you hear anything I just said to you? Shh. You'd never listen. It's just like when I was a kid. I mean, where were you then? Oh, I got locked up for trying to provide for my That is family. a cop-out, Pop. Now, do you honestly believe that I wanted to be away from you, Rosie? The Lord has given me a second chance, and I'm taking full advantage. Now, I am sorry that I wasn't there for you before, but I am here for you now. What else do I have to do to prove that to you? You can start by doing the things that I ask you to do. I've raised Jesse for 17 years. I've always been here. I never left. And now she's dying, and it's my job to keep everything in control. There are just some things out of your control. Some things are in God's hands. It may not make sense, but we don't see all of God's plan. You can beat me up another day. You have every right. But right now, time's too short. What did I do to deserve this? Mom? the love of my life and now my baby? Sorry, Pop. God abandoned me a long time ago. Remember what you used to say to me? If God brought you to it, God will bring you through it. Made coffee. Oh, Nan's always looking out for me. What you reading? Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to stay motivated before work. Just do what I do when I don't feel like working. What's that? Don't. <laughs> I'm serious. Let's get out of here. Work is not going anywhere. Nance, that's very tempting, but I have so much to do to prep for this Jacobson pitch. Oh, please. You're always overprepared. 
Nance, I can't. Really, I can't. Come on, it'll be fun. We'll invite your boyfriend. Stop calling him my boyfriend. Why? He should be. But he isn't, so stop calling him that. So, you wouldn't get mad if I asked him out then? Okay, so I didn't say that. I just said that he isn't my boyfriend. I think I'm offended. Nance. Probably should be. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm just wondering if I'm doing everything I can. I'm wondering if I'm leaving anything out. Hey, you're doing the best you can, and that's what counts. I just can't help wondering if I'm not holding Jess back from living the life that she's left. Jess is the happiest child I know. Now get your stuff and let's go shopping. We'll be back in an hour. <sighs> Come on. Man, you're always twisting my arm. Hey, that's what friends are for. Just don't tell Riley. Okay, Grandpa, I'm confused. <laughs> To do. What do I do now? <laughs> Show me your hand. Oh no. I win! Uh -uh. How did you win when. <laughs> Poker's not for everyone, sweetheart. <laughs> mm -mm. You're so busted. Oh no! Grandfathers are allowed to cheat, it's in the rule book. <laughs> You want to play again? No, I, I like feel like doing something else. Like what? Where are we going? Oh, I just think we'll drive around. I'd like to, I want to see some of the sights. There are no sights around here, Grandpa. There's nothing special around here. I know, but you know, it looks the same as when I was a kid. You know, when I grew up, there was absolutely nothing here. Your mother. She grew up about 50 minutes south of here. Yeah, I know. We used to visit all the time when Dad was still alive. Oh, that's good. Oh. Oh, my eyes. They're, they're starting to bother me. You, you know, I'm... Oh, wow. I'm going to have to pull over. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Grandpa, is everything okay? Well, I must have something in my eye. I, I think I'm gonna have to ask you to, to do something for me. You want me to get it out for you? Well, no, I, I think I need you to do something else. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I think I need you to drive us home. Grandpa, I can't, I don't know how. You can, and I'll teach you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's go. Nance, I'm really glad you made me do this. See? And you're gonna look stunning in your new outfit. The Jacobson firm is gonna take one look at you and sign it. No presentation needed. You know I haven't bought something for myself since our last shopping spree. <laughs> you cannot be serious. That was like five years ago. You were long overdue, girl. Now, you got all that? Yeah. You know, not really. <laughs> oh, I think you could do it. Okay. I'm not feeling too well. You're feeling how? It's my stomach. Oh. Oh, oh that's not the cancer, sweetheart. That's butterflies. I know you can do this. Okay, but now promise me, the minute you feel sick, you... I'll pull over. If I feel not good, I'll pull over. Okay, good. Now. Good, good. Now, oh, wait, 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 wait. Check your mirrors. Good, yes, sir. Okay. Now, 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 now look for your blind spots. Good. I got this. Good. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, no way. Here's what we got to do. We got to put it in gear. Just back. One. No, you got to push this in. Okay, good. One. Pull it back. Okay, back. One, two. Wait, put it on D. Oh, we got it. Whoa. Oh. 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 There you go. You're doing it. Now just, yeah, that's it. Keep it in the lane. Great. Go ahead. Oh, you're, oh. You're doing oh. so natural. Look at oh, you. Are you serious right now? This has to be someone's great-grandmother driving or something. I'll give him a break, man. Come on! This looks like my father's car. Pull up. Go around this car. Pull up. And what if it's not your father? What if it's a serial killer? Serial killers don't drive 35 miles an hour just past... The... That is my father. That is Jessica driving my father's car! Jessica, pull over! Over. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Oh, now, just keep it steady and let this car coming up on you pass you by. Oh, look. What? Oh. Jessica, pull over. Pull over. Should oh. I floor it? No, I think we're busted. Oh, pull up over there. Pull over, Nance. Pull over. Pull over. Okay. Don't kill her. She's a teen. They do these things. Rose. Jess, get out of the car. Jess, get out of the car. Now, Jess, not you, Papa, Mom. not you. What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what could have happened? Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? I just thought that maybe... You thought? Pop, that is your problem, is you never think. Oh, look, Rosie, I'm sorry. She was doing real good there. You know what, Pop, I want you to leave. Mom, no! Jess. Mom, Grandpa was really careful. I was driving. Do you know how long I wanted to do that? I didn't even have to ask. He just knew. Mom, please. Jess, go get in the car. Pop, that was completely irresponsible and totally unacceptable. Mom, I'm a teenager. I'm supposed to be irresponsible. Okay, fine, but then what's his excuse? Oh, I'm an ex-con. Oh, that's it. That's enough. Get in the car. That's it. Pop, I want you out of my house, out of my life, and I don't want you anywhere near my children ever again. Do you understand me? Rosie. What were you thinking? You could have killed yourself. More than ever, I've been trying not to let mom see me sick. She acts like she can handle it, but inside it's killing her. <coughs> and it's been really rough this last month with grandpa gone. She's been trying to work on some big account while taking care of me. At least she's agreed to let some friends stay over tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. I'm excited. I miss Grandpa. This cannot be happening. Really? As if I don't have enough on my plate already, gotta throw this on top? Oh! Hey. Uh. Hi. I'm having some car trouble. No, it's fine. This always happens. It just needs a minute. We'll try starting it up again. It's probably the battery. No, that's your starter. Actually, I think the mechanic said that the last time I was in, I should probably have it checked out. Well, I can call a tow truck. I know a great mechanic, one of the ones you can actually trust. This was supposed to be a quick trip. I was just supposed to scan a couple documents. I've got Jess at home with a few friends. I don't think I have time. Well, let me take you home then. I can call a tow truck in the morning. Ethan, that's so nice of you, but you don't have to do that. I want to. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Well, this is it. I should probably get in there. Thank you, Ethan. Any time, Rose. So I will see you on Monday. Saturday? Um, maybe if, you know, you're interested. I'm definitely interested. You are? Yes. I'm, I mean, I, Ethan, you are such a wonderful man. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I, it's just, 
It isn't a good time for my fail. I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait. For your purse. Hey, this is Whoa. Dee! Hey, Mr. Dee, who's your friend? <laughs> Very funny ladies. This is Ethan. He is a friend from work. I had a little car trouble and he was nice enough to see me home. And he was just leaving. Yeah, I can see you guys are busy, so I'll see you on Monday. Yep. Big person day today. Sure is. Bye, Rose. Good night, Ethan. We just got a train. That's, that's, that's the key to this thing. <laughs> Jessica, honey, did Mrs. Richardson pick up Billy yet? Where's Jessica? Jess? baby. God is not going to give us something that is more than we can do. So when that time comes, and God just can't stand not having you next to him, you're going to be ready. Jessica will ever come back to school? I hope so, sweetie. Well, I think you're lucky you don't have to go to school. <laughs> yeah, I actually kind of miss it. What? Yeah, I even miss the homework sometimes, too. <laughs> you must be really sick, right? No, really, though. So, do you still like Vincent? Oh, that little boy from next door? Jess, I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Mom, he's not a little boy, and he's... So cute. I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> He's really cute, Miss D. Yeah. And he always asks about you at school, Jessica. He does. He's in my fifth period. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> when was the last time? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not keeping track. Oh, you should. <laughs> Next time he talks about me, you guys have to call me immediately. Okay. Right after. I had no idea. You really like this boy. <laughs> I wouldn't tell my mom who I was crushing on. She'd totally overreact. I'm her mother, not her warden. She can tell me things like that. <laughs> okay, then. Mm. Who's that guy at the door? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's really cute. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, well, we're not talking about that. <laughs> Pizza. How's the love life? I know, right? That's so weird. Oh, hey, Mrs. Donaldson. Vincent, we were just talking about you. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Vincent. I haven't seen you around in, like, forever. Oh, you know, cancer and all. Jessica. 
Yeah, totally. Okay, Vincent, thanks so much for the pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. Thank you. <sighs> oh, that was so embarrassing, Mom! <laughs> now you know how I feel. Whoa, Mom, you look pretty. Thank you, sweetie. I'm going to be gone two hours. Billy, I programmed my number to the cell phone. I know your number, Mom. Billy, this is extremely important. If anything happens, anything, anything at all, you call me. I will be right home. Mom, everything will be fine. I've never felt better. OK. Wish me luck. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Bye. Ready, champ? Uh, yeah, I just need one more minute. You've been studying these notes the last half hour. You got this. Come on, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Let's all right. go, Rose. They're waiting. All right, all right. Oh, grab those. Do what you do best, Rose. Thank you, Nance. Hello, gentlemen. Lady, thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> Mr. Jacobson, gentlemen, we know you have many choices and busy schedules, so we are very honored that you are considering Wilson and Blanks as your financial institution. Sorry. Continue, Rose. As I was saying, we couldn't be more pleased to present to you our projected future. Can everyone please shut off their cell phones? Of course. I'm sorry. Technology. <laughs> can't live with it, can't live without it. Rose. Please continue. It, uh, Rose, is there a problem? It's my cell phone. I should probably grab that. Rose, I'm sure everything's fine. Please continue. So we've put together a uh, fantastic presentation for you. That was just my little spin on it. I figured you would like that one, Mr. Jacobson. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Mommy! Please call me back! She's not answering. What do I do? Jess! Jesse! Jesse! <laughs> the factors have changed on the SML. Mr. Jacobson, it is extremely important that you... Sorry to interrupt. Um, Rose, your father's on the phone. Rachel, I'm in the middle of a presentation. He says he really needs to talk to you. Um, just tell him I will call him back when it's more convenient. I'm so sorry about that. Where were we? just about wraps up what I have to say. We really hope that you choose Wilson and Blanks as your financial institution. Thank you. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you, Mr. Jacobson. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Take care. It was wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Well done. Thank you so much.
Rose. It's Pop. I've got the kids. Meet us at St. Joseph's Hospital as soon as you get this. If he brings you through it, I'll bring you to it. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I hear you, God. I am not in control anymore. You are. So I ask you, please keep my baby safe until I can get there. Rose, is everything okay? No. I need a ride to the hospital right now, please. Yeah, yeah, let's go, come on. Thank you, Ethan. You're truly our heaven sent. You call me if you need anything at all. I'm gonna have a long, ugly talk with my mechanic. I'll see you. Jess, you do anything? No, thank you. Actually, yeah, stay with me. Billy? William. <laughs> William. I won't be around much longer. Jess, don't say that. It's the truth, Billy. I need you to understand this. I need you to take care of mom, okay? You're gonna get better, Jess. I need you to do your homework. I need you to clean up around the house and stop giving mom grief. Can you do that for me, William? Yes. You know, if you don't, I'm gonna haunt you. <laughs> 
I'm serious. <laughs> okay, Jess. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How are you feeling tonight? Good. Open your eyes. It really is beautiful. You want to try it on sugar? <laughs> Am I at this dance, Jess? are spinning in the dark A secret wish that none will know She keeps it locked up in her pale heart Wait for it It's tired and it's true all she ever knew She dreams in blue she Tonight was the best night of my entire life <laughs> It's true what mom says that God gives you exactly what you need at the right time. There are so many things I'll never get to experience. I'll never have a first kiss. I'll never get married. I'll never get to travel the world. <sighs> but I got to go to prom. And that was pretty awesome. <laughs> She ever knew.
Rose, I know you've been asked a million times, but how you doing? As good as can be expected. Look, I want you to take as much time off as you need, okay? But not too much time. After that amazing presentation I orchestrated, <laughs> I think we're going to be super busy. You orchestrated. Ah, enough about how great I am. Look, why don't you sit down? We'll take care of everything. Oh, thank you, Riley, but I think it's best if I just stay busy. Same old Rose. Not even close, Riley. Thought that was against the rules. It's a stupid rule. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Billy. Oh, I should probably go talk to him. All right. Hey. Can I do anything for you? No, thank you, Ethan. You really are too nice for your own good. I really do appreciate that you're here. Anytime. Excuse me. I think I see what's going on here, Romeo. I don't know what you're talking about, Riley. You know, Rose is like a daughter to me. I was by her side when she lost her mother, her husband, and now her daughter. I do not want to see anything bad happen to her again. I'd never let anything happen to her, sir. And if she'll give me the chance to win her heart, I will absolutely take care of it. That's good. Because otherwise you're fired. How are you feeling, William? So, oh, young man. Do you have a job? of today.
Hi again, it's me, Jessica. These past few days have been rough, physically. It's funny that when you're sick, you start to see things differently. I noticed how people look at me differently. They say, who's that sick girl and why is she so pale? <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy. I'm the happiest I've ever been. If I die tomorrow, I have no regrets. Not one. Okay, maybe one. And that's that I wish I wouldn't have wasted so much time dying and spent more time living. Don't wait for a tragedy to make you realize that. Don't wait for a tragedy to start living. Mom, I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's funny, everyone dies, it's obvious. It was just my time to go a little bit sooner. And you know what? I'm not scared anymore. I'm ready. I know I'll see Grandma and Dad. <laughs> I know that God has a plan for me. And somehow, this is just part of that plan. Mom, you remember your promise to me? <laughs> Live, life is a blessing. Live every day, every single day as it counts. You know, Grandpa told me that if it isn't right, it isn't the end. Grandpa was really smart. I taught him that. Mom, this isn't the end for you. I feel like this is just the beginning. I completed my journey. It's time for yours. You are with me every step of the way. Thank you so much for all you've done. Love you so much, Mom. Oh, P.S. <laughs> Ethan is really cute. <laughs> Don't let him get away. <laughs> My God, it's been a long time. I'm sorry I ever left, but thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for being my rock even when I didn't realize you were. Lord, I ask you that you help me keep Jessica's wish. That in losing her, I don't lose myself. But most importantly, please take care of my baby up there for me. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Pa, please. Pa, do you remember when I was little and I used to tell you I was praying for you? I do. For me now.
Easy. 